Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Chicagon back at it again, this time with another Japan thrift unopening. <laughs> it's a heavy one. <laughs> As always, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And before I forget, there's also a Discord link down below if you want to stay in touch outside of videos as well. But enough of that, let's get to this. I just realized that I don't have the necessary tools with me to open this, so I'm just going to go grab them. Let's tool. All right, so this is another package a few months in the making, mainly purchasing from Medcuddy. I think I also got something from another marketplace called Frill which is the Rakuten marketplace that isn't like auctions and that. This package though has been a major hassle to figure out and shipping and duties ended up costing me a lot more than I expected to. So fingers crossed everything fits. <laughs> There's also something for a friend in here, Carly who runs lastly. Sorry for the builders in the background, by the way, the house next door has been getting worked on for what seems like an eternity now, an absolute eternity. Here we are. All right. A lot of bubble wrap. A lot of bubble wrap. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just pull things out from the side. So a lot of stuff in this package, a couple of things are very, very cool pieces. I hope they fit and a couple of things that are replacing other things that didn't fit or that broke. First up, we have these Random Identities Worker Boots. Now, these are a fantastic boot that actually retail for quite a lot of money. Essence does great sales on them, but runs out of the most accessible sizes, obviously pretty quickly. But this is a great entry level heeled boot. I do already have a pair in 42, but they are a little too snug. So if you want to snag them, pick them up. They're made of calf leather. They are beautiful. And now I really, really hope that this fits. Here's the big moment of truth. They're just so hard to get into. Why? I just always feel like there's something wrong with my feet that I can't get into shoes like this. Wow. I think we actually have a bust. Perhaps the shoe horn can help. And it did. Okay, so once I could actually get my foot in, it fits a lot better than the 42, honestly. It's just weird getting them in. I think, you know, a shoehorn is definitely required. Now let's try the left one. What I found from these heels actually is that my left foot is smaller than my right foot, but it has a different shape. So yeah, the left foot just slips right in. No shoehorn required. But immediately these are significantly more comfortable than the 42s. So let's give you a look. I'm actually pretty stoked on these. I just hope that they do me well compared to the other ones. But yeah, if you're interested in these in a 42, I would suggest for maybe an eight and a half US max nine. They probably, they fit a bit slim. So you wanna have slim feet, but these are actually really, really cool. I'm happy I got a pair that actually fits. I just need to make sure to use the shoehorn. Test number two is getting them off. Left came off okay, right? Mm. Easy. All right, next up, we have, I don't know what these are. Oh, these are a pair of sneakers. So next up, we have a pair of Junjae sneakers, trainers, whatever you'd like to call them. Now for the longest time, I've been searching for like a black shoe. Wow, it comes with an actual like dust bag, that's kind of cool. Extra laces. 
the tags. This is cool. I didn't expect it to come with everything because they're second hand. I actually had someone in the Discord say that I would probably suit the Balenciaga Defenders. And I alluded that there's something coming kind of similar. They're not exactly the same, but these are not them. <laughs> okay, so they put a pair of a pair of shoes in another pair of shoe box. I see. So recently I did post that a pair of Oxfords that I bought from a thrift store broke. The like the sole just came off it turns out they weren't welted in and so i was looking for another pair of just simple oxford style shoes and i found these yoji yamamoto oxfords i'm not sure if it captures it there but they have a little bit of like cracking and creasing but these are just supposed to be a work shoe and i kind of like the weather look as well so let's try these ones on these are a 28 they said yeah it says 28 i have a feeling they're not gonna fit We need the shoehorn. Whoa. These are not a 28, <laughs> let me tell you that. Wow. That's a shame, they're quite nice. I suppose I'm gonna have to sell these on though. They're in pretty good condition. They've also been vibrant on the heel. It's a shame. I like them, but these are gonna have to go up for sale. So a 28 US 10, definitely not. I would say this is maybe an 8, 8.5. Maybe a slim nine at best. That's sad, but that, that's that's marketplace shopping. Okay, so now we have the Junjay sneakers. It's a Korean brand, by the way. They have some really, really cool clothes. I just don't find a lot of them out there. So very interested in maybe picking up a couple of like basics from them and seeing what they're like. But here's the sneaker. It was just listed as a dad sneaker, but I love it. It's super, super chunky. It's got the tread that comes up really high and the tread that comes up high on the front as well. Let's see if these fit. I went to Creamy Velvet, a favorite shop of mine here in Melbourne, a few weeks ago when I had found these shoes and noticed that they also sell Junjay sneakers there at a very, very good discount, but they are not the colorways that I'd like. But I found a similar shoe and tried it on in a 27 and it fit just fine. So here's fingers crossed. Yes, it fits. Right shoe on, which is the more fussy one. Well, let's go to the left. These are in pretty good nick. They're like a little bit worn, but as you can see, they have this, they have this sort of style. It's kind of very reminiscent of the Balenciaga track sneakers. I'm not sure which one came first. Don't come at me for this. I am not familiar with sneakers. I just picked these up because I, after searching them around a bunch, I was really, really into their shoes. Okay, so funnily enough, the left one feels tighter than the right one. I don't know what's wrong with my feet. These are really cool. Let's look. These are great. They're super chunky. They're quite comfortable as well. Definitely a really good going out, dancing, clubbing, maybe even to like more like park rave kind of thing type of shoe where I don't have to stress so much about damaging ricks or something of the same ilk. I'm really, really keen on these and can't wait to wear these more. Maybe I'll wear them today. Maybe. The tread is actually in pretty good condition too. I am don't wanna keep talking about them, but really, really happy with these. Another win. Okay, now this is the Random Identities Satin Overcoat. I used to have one of these, but I sold it. This one is actually for a friend who saw me wearing it and was like, I need that immediately. And we went on Medcuddy, found one almost immediately and they're like, yeah, I'll buy it now. Very, very good deal. Can't wait to give it to them, but I'm not gonna open it because that's for them to do. Actually, I'm gonna send them a photo. All right, up next, it's always so, it can be so odd opening things when there's no signifying features on what they are, what they could be. This is very, very light. Very, very light. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what this is. This is, if I can find the label, a Julius piece. It is a wool 
Wool Mohair Alpaca Jersey Cardigan by Julius. Where do I get into this? Let's put it on. It fits well, it's like nice and large, kind of oversized, no collar. It feels lovely, but I definitely need to wear like long sleeves under it because I'm not very good with this kind of wool. It's like a nice warm covering in case I don't want to like commit to a really, really, really warm top fit. Overall, let's test it out and see how it goes. Otherwise I will sell it on, but Really happy with it. It's just so soft as well. All right, next. Okay, this is a Yoji Yamamoto Sight coat. There's no lining in it, which I thought was interesting, but let's try it on and see how it fits. It's quite light, it's not too, too warm. I think it looks quite good. It's got this lovely collar as well that you can also button up further should you choose to, like this. And even bring up the collar should you want more warmth. It almost kind of looks like you're wearing a hoodie underneath it. It's pretty cool. I like it. The only thing I dislike about it is that it is not lined whatsoever. So it's a bit odd on my skin again, but we'll see how we go. Next up, we have an accessory. It's a pair of sunglasses by old mate Yoji. Let's see how they fit. They look basically new. <laughs> cool. They're all larger than I expected them to be, but <laughs> what do you think? I like them. They don't feel like too much. This is nice. <laughs> There were also ones with like purple tinting, but I picked the ones that were more just black. Cause I wasn't sure about the purple and how to like fit it in with everything. It can be very difficult when you can't actually have things, you know, in hand. That's the annoying part of shopping on online marketplaces. Okay, final garment. Oh, this one. I've had my eye on this piece for quite a while now. Maybe even at least half a year to a year. It is a Nehane by Mihara Yasuhiro piece, and it's like, it's like this old style Japanese coat, kimono coat, haori. But the cool thing is that it's made in like a traditional Japanese way, like a very, very old school way where they use hemp in the fibers. Very curious as to how this fits because there were not a lot of photos of it and it remained there without any interest for so long. So let's have a look. It's so lightweight. And the layered parts as well. I know this is this is super unique and really, really cool. I'm actually such a fan. I just have no idea how I'm gonna style this, but this is too this is too cool. Really cool. Actually really cool. Okay, okay. Mind off that. We'll style it in the in the proper video. Finally, we have the last item. Another pair of shoes. 
I have been looking, I've wanted like a pair of, I wanted a pair of like the Rick Owens Bozo tractor boots for ages, but I just don't have a thousand dollars to spend on boots. And looking around in the Julius section, I was able to find these chunky sole creeper leather boots and for a great price was able to negotiate on the price of it high cut i i just let's we have to try them on because if they don't fit then oof. here we go so they're a size two which is the same size as my other julius boots so i am really hoping these fit okay we're in it's not easy getting into side zip things without like laces on the front to open it wider. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to get into side zip shoes. Shoehorn coming in clutch today. Jeez. You know, if I didn't have it, I wouldn't have been able to get on all, like most of these shoes. Well, they definitely fit. These are actually sick, but very difficult to get into. They are awesome. I just don't know the logistics of getting into and out of them if I don't have a shoehorn handy. I don't quite know, but we'll figure it out. So anyway, that's all the pieces from today. It's been such a hassle getting them all here together. So I'm quite happy. I can't wait to give one piece to my friend Carly as well. They're gonna be very, very excited. What was your favorite? I can't wait to put them into a video actually styling them together and with the rest of the wardrobe too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been fun sharing these unboxings with you. If you enjoy it, I'll keep doing them. Otherwise we can just stick to the main styling videos. But yeah, until next time, hope you're taking care wherever you may be, staying safe and healthy. Be safe, take care, and as always, don't do anything I do, except Oh, you need just taking chances on sizing overseas is such a gamble. And as we saw, we have at least one piece here that is a no-go. Do you want to buy it? <laughs> Until next time. Bye-bye.